What does football mean to me? Everything. It's my whole life. It's made me who I am. When Bobby was first born, um, it was a shock. We didn't know there was anything wrong with him. Well, you know, like any father, I thought sports would be a big part of our life, but when Bobby was born, man, we got hit with everything. Well, actually, it took a few days before we got an actual diagnosis. They didn't know what he had for a while. One doctor actually told us to just put him in an institution and leave him there because he would never walk or talk or show emotion. They didn't even know if he'd make it. That was never, never thought in our head. And the last thing we ever thought that we would be involved in football. Well, he has arthrogryposis, so it's all physical um, disabilities. I can remember being a kid and, you know, all my friends starting to play football in second grade and being that young, you know, I couldn't figure out why I couldn't do it yet. You know, he's quadriplegic. That's, you know, every father wants to play catch. I wanted to put those pads on and be in the huddle and hit people. Be in sports and I just figured that would never happen. It was a hard thing to get over once you realize I couldn't do that. That was figuratively more painful than 24 surgeries. We are football fans and we've been fans of the Buffalo Bills. Bobby grew up sitting on his dad's lap watching football every Sunday. The moment I knew I wanted to be in the life of football was when I met now Hall of Fame quarterback Jim Kelly. We had a real conversation but it was about football. It wasn't about the wheelchair or anything else. It was just two guys hanging out kind of even though I was so young and that's when I knew I wanted to be in this life whether it was coaching or broadcasting. Incredible because it started as maybe just a little dream of his and I think people thought in the beginning how cute. Look at he you know kid in the wheelchair is on the field. And then they started thinking, kid in the wheelchair knows football. And then all of a sudden, he's coaching. And I started, you know, in eighth grade, worked my way up. And my sophomore year, I was finally an actual coach on the varsity team and just working with the offensive line, which most of my best friends played, was amazing. Well, it depends on if they win or lose. <laughs> If they won, he's very happy and excited to tell you everything that happened on the field and what went right and what went wrong. It was just a great experience and we got all the way and won the state championship our senior year. And then we watched him coach college and now it's amazing. There's 200 huge men out there and he's telling them how to block and run. And For the past three years I've been working at the Jim Kelly football camp coaching the senior division so it's high school kids and it's just so much fun you know here's my childhood hero and now i'm coaching with them great group of friends they've been together since some of them since kindergarten his whole life will be football whatever level he wants football has given me so much through my life and they've been by each other's sides through thick and thin every day he overcomes more obstacles than i have in my whole life winning a state championship most of them play football with him which is also a great thing. Whether it's lifelong friends. I mean really watch them grow up because they basically live at my house. So. <laughs> to see what he's overcome and who he's become, it makes you feel wonderful but you want so much more for your kid. I didn't know back then you know it was going to be coaching but I needed to be in this life. It's, it's been amazing.